All right, so this is the first summit I've done since uh, Washington trip about four months ago. Like I told you in my last video, I kind of rotate things around. Uh, but I'm up here on the Crestline area of the Big Bear Mountain Range in Southern California. Uh, you can see a pretty good size uh, backdrop behind me there into the valley. This is basically a drive up summit. This is Whiskey 6 Sierra Delta uh, 442. So I chose this summit, um, 442, or actually should say uh, the Sierra Delta, because uh, recently uh, was uh, honored to be able to take over the Southern Desert uh, region here uh, for a regional manager in Southern California for Soda. So I'm going to hit all of the Southern Desert zones, starting with the highest peak point possible first, and this being the first one. But uh, this one's uh, interesting. It's a uh, like I said, it's a drive up, but today's theme is not just about that summit or about uh, being the regional manager for uh, Southern Desert Zone, uh, the Whiskey Six. It's also about slowing down. Uh, you know, apparently I talk a little fast when I'm out here on, uh, on the GoPro, when I'm alone, uh, when I'm talking on the radio, and I'm finding more and more new people are watching my channel. So I'm gonna try to slow some things down all the way around. Uh, kind of enjoy the journey a little bit more. Uh, I've slowed down a lot from when I first started and I plan on just slowing down just a little bit more and enjoying this because this view is it's unbelievable. I want to hopefully make some better videos and uh, share different things with uh, with all the new people coming into into soda and I have no idea where my dog just went so anyways I'll be right back. I got to set this thing up. All right in the interest of slowing down uh, that means even slowing down when you're getting ready. Uh, at home, I wanted to bring a few different antennas, do some testing to get that uh, sun a little bit better for you. But I want to do some different testing out here with some different antennas. So I brought this RG174 coax. This is Velcro. And I also brought this antenna that Tony sent me. It's a 20 meter link dipole, but I brought just a 20 meter section. Fail on my part. This connection that connection. So the BNC to the UHF, I didn't bring a linking connector. So uh, I don't get to use this. So had I sped up too much at home like I did and didn't bring my speaker wire antenna, you can see the video over here, over here, somewhere, I'll link that up, uh, I would be screwed. So I'm glad I bought, uh, brought an extra antenna so I can still play radio. Although I could play just VHF here, but I want to do some HF. So people are always asking me, you know, hey, what antenna do I use? What antenna do I use? And this is what I started out with. This is the Trail Friendly LNR Precision 40 2010. Uh, that also kind of works on 15. It's cut resonant for 40 meters. BNC connector, matchbox. Uh, it's a sloper. It works pretty good. Uh, you can plug it directly to the radio with a coupler, or you can use some of this RG174 or any other coax, but this stuff is probably the best thing for summits on the air. So BNC to BNC, so this. So that's one setup that I've used, or a short run of RG13 I think I've used for that too. Uh, and it worked okay. So from there, I moved on to uh, the speaker wire antenna, and since the last video, I went ahead and added these connectors on the end. Uh, so that's where the end of the dipoles come out. You'll see that here soon because that's <laughs> so I got to deploy today. So the infamous speaker wire antenna, and then of course the BNC uh, to binding post. Now what I am going to do, I am going to take uh, these connections right here. I'm going to put uh, some of these banana jacks on them like this, so I can just pop them in these little holes right here and uh, make it easier. All right now I just do the old unscrew it and put it down and that kind of thing. And it works fine, um, but it'll be just that much a little more rugged with these things. So that's. That's my been my primary antenna. It's cut for 20 meters, and uh, it rock and rolls on 40, 20, 10, all a bunch of different channels or frequencies, I should say. So then there's this one I just told you a second ago. Uh, I tried it at home; works pretty good. It's a link dipole. Uh, does require the coax, and one thing I didn't bring was the connector, uh, an adapter between uh, the BNC and the UHF. So basically, it's almost the same thing as this. The only difference is is the transmission line. Uh, it, to the radio, this being the radio elements, is the uh, the coax. On this one, the entire thing is speaker wire. So as you can see from my speaker wire video. Uh, and then over here, I've made these. I haven't got to use them yet. Well, it's not really much to make, but this is a 22 gauge stranded wire. Put a banana jack on one side, put a ring terminal on the other, and this is uh, 25 feet. And uh, it's 25 feet up vertical, and then 25 feet counterpoise, and that's right out of 
the Elecraft KX2 uh, manual on an antenna that you can use out in the field. So with this, I can plug it right into these binding posts and, uh, and away we go. Haven't got to try it yet. I should have a little bit different takeoff angle and I should also have um, some directivity with where I point my counterpoise is the direction that I would be able to, uh, in theory, have better uh, transmission and receiving. So those are the, the primary antennas I use for my HF stuff with my KX2 while doing summits on the air. All right, I think that is the slowest amount of time I've ever taken to set up this antenna. I always feel like it's a race 99% of the time, but this time I just, I putted, I cruised, and it was kind of nice, it was relaxing. So I'll show you the setup, uh, it's kind of similar, you'll, you'll recognize this, the KX2, we're going to play with that here in just a minute, uh, my HT is on my hip, see the speaker wire, Dio, Dio doggy, and then uh, right into the sunshine, so legs, but look at that view, look at that view out there, can't beat it. So Kevin's hiking uh, into CT-47, I think, uh, point ninety seventy. It's either CT-47 or CT-45, uh, 9070. And, uh, well, we're going to try to do summit to summit. And uh, we should be able to do that, no problem. So we're going to have 14340. Um, radio's up and running. Good to be up here again. It's brisk. It's like 40 degrees out. Obviously, the North Face uh, polar fleece jacket keeping me very toasty. I think Kevin's calling me right now in HT, so better answer him. Just put my spot out. Hey, it might be a little sunny there. Just put my spot out. Let's see who's gonna start calling here any second. I think we can hear this. Spot is out. Get ready to fire it up. At least get some right, audio, hopefully. HT, this guy in HT, he's pretty excited. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. November 0, Oscar India. What's going on, man? Good to hear you. Roger, copy uh, five nine. Is that right? Copy, copy. Yeah, you're five nine as well up here, of course. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm uh, recording right now, I'm trying to get the audio levels all set. So uh, we'll see how it works. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of people just kind of getting into soda, so it's kind of working out, you know, pushing the information out there, giving up some trail information, that kind of stuff, so it's all good. Yep, yep, you're doing a great service out there. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, man. We'll talk to you later on. 73, KG6, HQD, QRZ, Summit's on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD, calling CQ for summits on the air. WB5, US Brisky, Bravo 5, Uniform, Sierra, Bravo. WB5, USB, Upper Side Band, hey, good morning, how are you today, sir? Hey, morning, Jerry, yeah, fine, yeah, George, Jerry, New Mexico, doing fine, yeah, I got some ice signal on here, can you give me a 5, 5, 5, and 5 here this morning? Roger that, yeah, I've got you at a 53, 5, 3, QSL. Hey, appreciate the 5, 3, uh, Roger, Roger, 73, thank you, sir. KG6, HQD, QRZ. Alpha, Bravo 4, Papa, Papa. Alpha, Bravo 4, Papa, Papa. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, go ahead. Alpha, 
Alpha, Alpha Bravo 4, Papa Papa, go ahead. Alpha Bravo 4, Papa Papa, you're Roger, Roger, 22. That'll be 22 both ways, 2-2 two, two both ways, 2-2 two, two both ways. QSL? Mary Ford, Mary Ford, Mary Ford. Roger, Roger, 2-2, 2-2, 2-2, 22-22, 2-2 two, both ways. QSL? Roger, copy the 52, I'll update it. Thank you, QSL. All right, 73, Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta QRZ, someone's on the air. That was North Carolina, 5-2 report on the HQD speaker wire antenna. <laughs> That's cool. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD, call in CQ Soda, CQ Soda, CQ Soda. Summit's on the air, QRP, Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, call in CQ, listening. So, one of the things I'm trying to do is get the... See, I don't know if you can see the back of the speaker. I'm trying to get the audio that way for you. You can hear people way down in there, but we'll see. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta calling CQ listening. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, calling CQ, listening. All right, I was hitting the transmit button, see if I can do something different with that. We got three, we haven't even gone on VHF, so we're just cruising, like I said, taking time. So. Somebody had told me, hey, what is all this stuff you're saying? It's kind of a new ham. You know who you are. So CQ, CQ, CQ is like calling all stations, calling anybody out there. Basically, I'm putting my call sign out there and saying, hey, if there's anybody out there that, that is looking for me because I did a spot in, a, in an alert, and I'll talk about that later. Some of my other videos catch on it. But I'm just basically saying, I'm out there. Let's talk. So if you're new to ham radio or just kind of finding uh, my channel, when I'm calling CQ, 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 uh, CQ Soda, Soda is someone's on the air, so I'm letting them know. QRP, there's Q signals in ham radio. So QRP means I'm running low power, which is generally 10 watts or less. Right now I'm putting out 10 watts, so I can dump it down to a milliwatt. Uh, but I'm putting out 10 watts this morning because I got lots of battery power, and, and why not? Oh. Kilo India 4, Sierra Victor Mike, do you copy Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, over. Uh, boy, I heard you come back to Missouri. Uh, Kilo India 4, Sierra Victor Mike, you are over. Roger, roger on the 33, QSL on the 33, QSL, you are a 2-2, 2-2. 2 2 QSL? Roger, Roger, Roger on the 2 2. Yeah, you came up a little bit there. Uh, thanks and uh, no Thank you so much. 73. Okay, I heard uh, KB6 CIO, Kilo Bravo 6, Charlie, India, Oscar, Bob. Good morning. How you doing, Bob? Go ahead. Roger, Roger on the 33, Bob. You're a 2-1-2-1-2-1-2-1-2-1. QSL, Bob? Yes, 
Roger, Roger, 73, Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, QRZ, Summit's on the air. I heard a Whiskey 4, Whiskey 4, go ahead. Whiskey 4, station go. Whiskey 0, Mike, November Alpha. All right, we'll go Whiskey 0, Mike, November Alpha. Gary, good signal this morning. Good to hear you again. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, you're at 55, 55 into me there, Gary. QSL, QSL, thanks for the contact. Roger, Roger, QSL, 73, KG6, HQD, QRZ, Summit's on the air. I got a Kilo 6, is that right? Oh, hey, Bob, or uh, Steve, good to hear you, man. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, 57 both ways. I had to turn the volume down. You're uh, blowing out my speakers. <laughs> roger, Roger, yeah, I dumped the volume way down. So very good, very good. Hey, I heard you on D-Star on the way up, but uh, I had to jump over and catch Kevin on uh, a different machine to coordinate. And I just talked to him a minute ago, and he had to pull off on uh, his activation because the snow was too deep over. Hey, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I was just uh, walking the dogs, and I always monitor Papa 3 and uh, D-Star. Copy, copy. All right, uh, sounded like there was a little bit of a pileup there, Steve. I'll catch you on D-Star on the way down, which will probably be like in an hour or two. Roger, Roger. Good luck. Be safe. All right, man. Thanks. Glad we're make it on uh, HF finally. All right, KG6, HQD, QRZ, Summit's on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, QRZ, Summit's on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD, calling CQ, 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 for Summit's on the air. King Henry 6, Charlie Bravo. King Henry 6, Charlie Bravo. Good afternoon or good morning. Yeah, good morning. I'm just getting ready to shut down to grab some breakfast. It is uh, about seven minutes before eight o'clock in the morning, and I gotta get started to work. But I heard somebody on this one, so I, <laughs> I was kind of curious. You got Sunny, Sierra, Oscar, November, November Yankee. I am on the island of Owa. Copy. Uh Copy on the island of Oahu. I was just there a couple weeks ago, Sonny. Uh, you're a 57 into me, 57 into me. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Okay, I won't hold it because I gotta get started working very shortly. I gotta get the horses going on this side. So thank you. Where are, where are you located? Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get your call sign over. Yeah, the call sign is Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, King George 6, Hotel Quebec Delta. I'm in Southern California uh, by uh, due east of Los Angeles, probably about 60 miles on top of the Big Bear Mountain Range. And I still need my signal report from you, over. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you for that info. I just put it down in my log. Thank you and have a nice day. I got a run. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta. Uh, King Henry 6, Charlie Bob, Ohio, Hawaii. 73, aloha for now. Hey, Sonny, I, I'd like my signal report. Signal report, signal report, over. I've got you about a 5-4, about a 5-4 with a little bit of QSB, Roger. Roger, Roger, 54. Thanks, Sonny. Uh, aloha and all that good fun stuff in Hawaii. You got some great weather over there. Roger, Roger. Thank you, and again, aloha. King Henry 6, Charlie Bravo. We're clear this time. Roger, Roger, 73. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, QRZ. Summit's on the air. Whiskey 5, Oscar Delta, Sierra. Whiskey 5, ODS. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, that was a good. He's got a great station over there. He was uh, coming in very nice. You're a 55 into me, 55 QSL. QSL to 55. Five. Thanks. Have fun. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Thank you again. See you later. 73. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, QRZ, Summit's on the air. So we have uh, we have nine contacts already. So after four contacts, the peak's activated. So when I hear King Henry, right away I know that's Hawaii, and that was Sunny on the island of Oahu. 
And I don't know what he was running for power. I had my Vox set and I talked on top of him a little bit. I'm sure he didn't hear me. But uh, yeah, I mean, great signal into Hawaii. I mean, a 57, I was able to give him a 57, 57. So five completely readability and S7 on the signal strength. And then a 54 back, man, I'm getting in really well. That's 10 watts on the HQD speaker wire antenna from Southern California to Hawaii, which is what, about, uh, I think two or 3,000 miles away, running just a couple, uh, running 10 watts on this end to get all the way over there for that good. So gotta love ham radio, it's fun stuff. You just never, it's like fishing, you just never know what you're gonna get. But we've got basically coast to coast. So I'm smack dab in the middle here in California. I talked to a guy in North Carolina, and now I've talked to somebody in Hawaii. So I've covered a, a huge distance both directions, east, west in my location. Uh, and I'm gonna look at the orientation, but my antenna, you know, it's somewhat omnidirectional. It means it kind of goes out in all different directions. Uh, but I want to make sure it's not shooting, shooting uh, out a directional off one side of the, the legs or not. And I got to call my dog out here, here. She's roaming around all the time. So, uh, but that's a pretty cool contact. Even uh, the guy in Oklahoma heard my QSO, QSO, which means my conversation with uh, the person in Hawaii, Sunny in Hawaii. So I'm pretty stoked on that. We're gonna call a few more. It's uh, 9:56. I don't know, we'll go uh, 10, 10, 30, whichever. We'll kind of just play for a little while and see what happens. And maybe we'll try some other bands, but I, I just love 20 meters. So let's do this. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta calling CQ listening. Oh, I hear somebody way down in there. All right, I heard a station way, way down in there. Let's try it again. I heard a Foxtrot, and uh, what's the other numbers? Kilo, Echo, Zero, Foxtrot, Kilo, Echo, Kilo, Echo, Zero, Foxtrot, Kilo, Echo, over. I got it. Kilo, Echo, Zero, Foxtrot, Kilo, Echo, QSL? QSL on the 31, 31. I'm going to give you a 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. QSL? QSL, 3, 3. QSL, thank you very much. Thank you, 73. So that guy was like, Kilo Echo Zero. The Zeros, the Sixes, the Fours, the King Henrys, those all mean things to somebody like me that knows where these are at, generally speaking, geographically, because they're issued uh, call signs for a geographic region. So I'm in the Six Zone in California, and I know Zero is back east. Usually it's up in the Northeast, up in like New York, Massachusetts, and whatnot. I don't have good enough cell service to, to pull it up. When I get back, I'll look at all these call signs, and I'll pull that guy up. Kilo Echo Zero, Foxtrot Kilo Echo, I'm going to bet he's probably upstate somewhere, New York or New Jersey or something like that. So, uh, anyways, that's another good one. Way the heck on the other side of the, the U.S. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, calling CQ, listening. Is this a boring view looking at me? Uh, you're probably looking at my nose. You know, 17 minutes, who knows? I'll probably pull some of the audio off of this and while well, there's nothing really to overlay because there's no hype going on around here. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. People like to they, they find this video, like to hear themselves, hey, go, before you trip my camera, go, go lay down, go. Oh. So I have my ear sets on, well, available. If I have to and there's like a, see? Kind of hard to tell because I got my HT right here. I'm trying to have, just keep that there for Kevin's sake. But I thought I heard somebody on my, my KX2. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta calling CQ listening. Okay, so that one. I think I gotta put my headphones on. I think I hear somebody down in there. So this way I'll really be able to hear them. But you won't, that's the downside. So you'll hear the call sign. 
Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD, Colin, CQ, CQ, CQ for Summits on the Air. I hear a station way, way, way down in there. This is Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD. Can hear a station way down in there. Keep trying, keep trying. Over. All right, no copy. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD, Colin, CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. All right, we, we got Don, KK4, QAM. I can hear him. I turned the preamp on. So we got a little static. Of course, we got a jet going over right now. But I'm trying to get some audio, so hold on. Uh, Kilo, Kilo 4, Quebec Alpha Mike. Don, what's my signal report, Don? Go ahead. Let's see if we can get him to... Kilo, Kilo 4, Quebec Alpha Mike. Don, do you copy KG6, HQD? Go ahead. Roger, Roger, 22, 22, 22. Uh, go ahead and give me a little bit of a long string on something. I'm uh, recording your audio on the face of the radio now, but uh, I'll take the 22. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. They have the uh, very tough over here. Uh, currently running the uh, NBSF. NBSF. Whiskey 3, Echo Delta Popper. That's uh, it. Uh, 100 watts coming out of the KH2 and the KHTA 100F. Back to you, Jerry. Uh, roger, roger on the 100 watts, and then uh, I got all that on the NFED ZEP. NFED ZEP, you're at 57, 57. We got some front end of the radio uh, recording on this one. I turned the preamp on, uh, but, you know, I got the speaker up against my leg. I'll try to adjust that a little bit, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's still a great copy. Finally got you on HF, Don. Go ahead. Roger, roger. I uh, did not copy my report. Here's my report, please. Yeah, Roger, you're 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, QSL. Roger, Roger, Gary. At least we made contact on HF. We know it works. <laughs> and it's the HQD speaker wire, brother. Uh, go ahead again, Don. I think we doubled. All right, KK4, QAM, KK4, QAM, uh, KG6, HQD, 73, buddy, and I'll talk to you on D-Star once I get out of here in about an hour, over. Awesome. I was hoping to get you done. I was kind of waiting out for you. I got you, I got Steve, and I'm just trying to get Dennis. That's why I was putting out a, a tweet. I was trying to, then I got a signal come in, and I worked at a couple Colorado stations, but... Uh, you know, got to have these earphones on every so often, kick the preamp up. Audio's probably coming a lot stronger because I wasn't running it before. But I have these towers behind me, you see. So they're kind of probably jacking with my signal a little bit, but eh, whatever. My dog's around here somewhere. I got a call her for she went over, over the ledge. She's shopping over there for some groceries. So I'm out here. So anyways, uh, pretty stoked. We have 13 contacts in the book. And uh, playing radio. It's good. It's been four months. So she's a good dog. She listens most of the time. Don't run off, dog. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go back at it, see if we can work Dennis, too. You hear that? So a guy is testing his live stream stuff on OBS. Here I am. I've been on here for an hour calling CQ. He's going to do a live stream, and he actually was doing testing. He wasn't even listening. So hopefully we get his call sign, and then maybe he'll trip on on uh, my channel there, Mr. Livestream. And he's just talking and talking and talking and not listening. Here I've been calling CQ this whole time, and having QSOs. Oh, geez, Louise. He doesn't have talking to anybody. He's just talking to himself. Hey, this is Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, using the frequency. Do you copy over?
Hey, station doing the live stream. You copy the frequency is in use. The frequency is in use, over. All right. Well, you know what? I got a bunch of contacts. I think I'm going to look on uh, Soda Goat, the app, and try to find some Summit to Summit stations, and maybe I can work uh, work a Summit to Summit or something. <laughs> something else to do. All right. So what I did is uh, I'm looking for some Summit to Summit. So there's another activator all over the world on different summits, but I found one that's not too far away. If you look right here at the phone, Kilo Mike 6, Quebec, Charlie Golf. He's bouncing around. He's in the Whiskey 6 zone, which means he's in California. The NC is the North Coast, so he's up in Northern California. And then the 165 designates the peak that he's on. Uh, he's been hitting 40 meters and 20 meters. So I just sent him. I was trying to get him on the last one that he spotted. So what I did is I'm sending him a message on APRS. I don't know if you can see that. But sending him a message on APRS. So if he gets this message, oh, somebody's tuning up right now on this. 14.275 is where he was at. So if he gets my APRS message, it's like text messaging because we don't have each other's phone numbers. But uh, so I'm sending a message from radio to radio like a text message. He'll know that I'm on 14.275 waiting to uh, do a summit to summit with him, which that's all of us activators like doing that. So I'm hoping to make that work. All right, I took a real slow approach even saying that sentence but uh, on the summit I took my sweet time setting up my uh, my antenna I uh, didn't even connect it to the radio right away I just kind of enjoyed uh, the view I'm trying to show you the view a little bit behind me as I'm talking but I'm trying to also keep the Sun out of it but uh, it's, it's a drive up peak this particular summit Sierra Delta 442 uh, point 5380 um, Behind me is some uh, radio towers, and I kind of just parked over there. You can lift that up, you can see my truck. And uh, that's about it. Just kind of walked over here, put up my chair, show you my little my little setup there. Of course, there's a, the trail dog. But uh, just kind of, I didn't need all that crap. I just brought it um, because, <laughs> because it was a short walk. Not even really a hike. But you know what? I got out of the house. I got to play radio. Um, I was slowing down on uh, my stuff because uh, something I kind of need to do all the way around. So this, this whole video, I think for me, it's, it's marking a new chapter in, uh, in how I'm going to approach not just ham radio, but my life. Uh, kind of slow down and enjoy the ride, uh, enjoy my family, enjoy my career, uh, enjoy the time out on the trail, and just kind of just slow down a little bit. It was nice to have the radio on for an hour and to not feel rushed. You know, every time I come out and do these for the last few years, uh, it's kind of like a mission, a quest to get it all done and get back. Um, and I didn't, I didn't feel that today. And it was kind of nice. So maybe taking four months off, a little break, and then coming back at it gave me some uh, better perspective, some newer perspective. And uh, well, and now here we are. So I think I like ended up with 24 or 25 contacts, uh, all on 20 meters. I didn't even try uh, BHF other than talking to Kevin on a machine. Uh, when he had to wave his off so i'm going to break it down i'm going to get in the truck and then i'm going to jump on d star and talk to my buddies and uh we'll call it good so slow down on what you're doing enjoy the process i guess i don't know all right so as i was rolling out uh kevin got a hold of me he's already on constant's peak so i did a summit to summit with him on uh, vhf on just the ht and then uh, as soon as that happened then chris Chris and one Charlie Lima Charlie came on, so I did a summit to summit with him. He was on Charlie Tango 268. So uh, hey, you know what? There's a there's a couple summit to summits for me today. So I, I'm pretty stoked about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this uh, this area that I'm in right now, and uh, kind of let you see the parking and everything else to go with it while I keep tracking my dog who keeps running off. Okay, so if you find yourself on the right road. Camp Pavica or whatever it is. You can find that out on the map when you look it up. But here's the road right here. And then there's a gate that ends up in that way. So this is the road coming in right here. So I went right here, this little trail, uh, what you call it for the radio towers. Uh, initially parked right here, but then it was all muddy and soupy and I didn't want to get out of the truck like that. Um, so you can see uh, where I parked the truck. Uh, I just backed up right there. And then behind that is where I did the activation, just over on that little knoll over there. So between the radio towers 
in the water tank on the knoll over there is well within the activation zone because this is like a saddle believe it or not this is the saddle part right here and then the summit proper the marking is just like on the other side over there but this is this is the within it so we're we're all good so we made it happen and uh hey sierra delta 442 basically a drive up uh bring your lunch and hang out